Okay, we're here to, to show you how a uh, Erie's Hydroflow cool proportioner works and how to set it up. This is one model. This is a, a unit that can do up to 8 to 10 percent. There's other models that can do lesser or greater percentages. All depends what you need. But they all work basically the same. Inside the center here, this is a water motor. There's a piston that slides back and forth, forcing water out with each stroke. The front here is the pump head. We suck concentrate up into the pump head and it's then pumped out on the uh, outstroke uh, each time it goes back and forth. So there's, this is set up for garden hose threads. This is a, fe a, ma a ma female fitting, sorry. There's a male fitting. We also supply these units with pipe thread adapters if that's what you want. So otherwise though, you could just use hoses to hook this up. Um, we've mounted this on this little st uh, uh, base here, mainly to give it more stability because you can lay the unit right on top of a drum if you want, but it's plastic and if it falls down it's going to break. So I strongly recommend you mount it to something. Now on the back here, this piece here, this is the guide, this is the adjustment. This is how we can change the concentration by increasing or decreasing the stroke of the chemical piston which goes up in here. And we're going to show you how all that works here in a minute. This scale here, which is very hard to see, means nothing, which I'll explain a little bit more later. It's strictly for reference. Okay, so here we've got the unit hooked up. We've got a garden hose connected to the inlet. Got another hose going to the discharge. This is the suction hose. This goes onto this little nipple down here on the bottom of the unit going into the drum of concentrate. So we're ready to get started. Now when you first start this up, the first thing you want to do is get it primed. So we go back here to do this is that you loosen up this lock knob here and then with this threaded rod, threaded knob, you bring it out to maximum. So we'll have the maximum stroke and that way it will prime as quickly as it can. can. So, okay. Alright, so now we're going to turn the water onto this and you'll start to see it work. Okay, so you can see the concentrate starting to come up into the drum here. All right, now we're going to stop this. If you want a maximum concentration, this would be fine, but we don't want it. Um, the scale, like I say, it says zero to, you know, which is min, ten, which is max, but it means nothing because this same scale is used on many different units. So if you had an eight ounce unit that uh, only could do four to six percent, you can still get yourself in the ballpark by, okay, say you wanted to run 2%. Well, I would probably put it halfway to start. On this case, which could do 8 to 10% if you wanted 5%, I'd put it about halfway to start as well. But you have to uh, still use your refractometer to check the concentration. So in this case, we want about 7%. So I'm going to change this, put it about yeah, the 7 I'm going to put it about yeah, around seven on this one. Okay, so first I want to empty the liquid out of this drum. We will start some more. So when you want to check the concentration with a refractometer, you never do it in the line where the fluid's coming out, as you'll see. So turn the water on. So you see you have clear mix, clear mix. If you put your refractometer in that stream, it will be wrong. So the right way to do it, the only way to do it, is you really need to mix up about a gallon of fluid and stop it. And then check it with your refractometer. Okay, so this is a little bit lean. So what I'm going to do is again dump the fluid. So I'm going to adjust this back out. Go close, more like in the little eight to eight and a half thereabouts. Okay, and let's turn it on again. So again, don't ever check concentration in the discharge hose. No matter how far you go, you need to accumulate some in a bucket and check it. Turn it off. Now, soluble oil coolants are much more uh, of an issue, say, than a synthetic is because they're just harder to mix. But either way, you still need to do it. Check it with your refractometer. Okay, now, yep, that's where I want it to be. So now that I have the concentration where I want it, you tighten up this locking knob tight. And as long as no one touches this, the concentration will never change. 
Now, if you know you want to run a leader, make, leader ratio for, say, grinding, you figure out where that is, and you can mark it on this uh, guide so that if you want to change from your machining co uh, concentration to the grinding concentration, you, you can move it pretty quickly, and it won't take you very long to do it. But once again, once you set it, it will never change. That's all there is to it.